Today we're going to work on starting the color part of our drawing. So if you will take out your drawing, we started with our shaded example of the peach and the peach slice, and I asked you to trace a copy by folding your paper over. So today I'm going to fold my pencil drawing to the back so I'm just working on my pencil drawing and adding color is a little bit complicated, more complicated than most people think. So today we're going to talk about how to build the color on the peach and in the second part of our uh, video we will do the sl slice and the leaves. The first thing we're going to think about is what colors we're going to use to create our drawing. So let's take a look at the peach and the whole peach and what is the main color that we see. If we think of our color wheel, it is red. So I'm going to pull out red. Well, what other colors do I see in the peach? Well, I see some kind of uh, yellow here at the top. And I see some orange or reddish orange in this textured area. So I'm going to pull out the yellow and I'm going to pull out the orange. Um, how can I make these dark colors? Okay, the first thing is many people think that we make dark colors by using black. We are not using any black at all for anything, so let's go ahead and put that color back in our box. We're going to create the dark colors by using some of our cool colors that we used on the color wheel. So, our main cool colors are blue, and um, we have some green we're going to need for the leaves, and if we look in our shadow areas here, it's a little bit of purplish. So we're actually not going to use purple either. We might need the light blue. And so we're going to use those combinations of the light blue, the dark blue, blue and red make purple. So we don't really need the purple. So we're going to, the violet. So we're going to put the violet away and we're going to use our blues and reds to make those colors. Um, we're going to create our red-orange by using our three main colors, um, but it's in that warm color group, so we'll leave that out. Okay, now I have a couple colors left. Um, I might need light green for the leaves, so I'll put that over here. We're not really using that today, but we're going to maybe use that over here. And then I have two colors left that are in our neutral group that we talked about when we made our color wheel. We will use white for some of these highlight areas on the whole peach and for our reflected light as well as when we get to our other areas. And brown can also be in that warm color group, so we might actually add in some brown. So we'll see how our drawing goes. So we will leave those out. So when I think about the main color of the peach without the shadows, I have one, two, four, six colors. And if I think about the colors that I use or may use to include to make the darker parts, I'm adding four more. So it's going to take up to maybe 12 colors just to get the color and the shadows on our whole peach. Okay? All right. So let's start with our base color, which we decided is red. Before I start, I'm not going to put red everywhere. I want to look at where the darker red is, kind of in this shape. So I'm going to take a look at my drawing, and I want to remember that when I am adding colored pencil, I'm using light pressure because I want to be able to mix colors and blend colors and I can only do that if I'm using light pressure. Okay, so I'm thinking about that and I want to be sure that I am working carefully around the edge of the sliced peach. 
The sliced peach is a different color and a different value from the whole peach. So it's really important that I don't run over it at this point. And you'll notice that I'm not making my pencil marks horizontal or vertical. I'm going with the curve of the peach. I may end up wanting to, um, on the peach slice especially, I may want to end up using an eraser to lighten some of my lines before I start with color. We will see shapes in the shadows and in the highlights. It kind of makes our drawing a little more interesting to give that form. And we're going to finish this piece lightly with our red. Going with the curve since the peach is curved. This area is shadowed, but it also has the red of the peach in there. So I'm going to not cover up the shadow edge, but I'm going to shade across it. If I come back to the drawing, there's light on the edge, but the edge is right up here. So this is shadow cast by the leaf. It's still part of the peach, so we'll bring that up. Then we have some lighter orange here. So the red is on the back of the peach. And then I'm going to kind of fade that out. And I can fade it out by lightening the pressure. Where I see yellow, I want to leave that off. We want to think about where those highlights are. And so now, that's going to be our lighter value right up here at the top. So now I'm going to bring in some yellow where that lighter value is. And it's on the top of this form. And again, even with the yellow, I am bringing in the lighter value and the lighter pressure, I can always add more layers of yellow. And then the yellow comes down into this textured area. Down here it's almost like a comma or a crescent moon. So again, I'm looking for shapes. And then up here behind the leaf, I see yellow up here at the top of the peach. And down here, I'm going with the form there. Light pressure. Down here, if I'm looking at the bottom of the peach, there's quite a lot of light, a reflected light on the edge. So I'm going to come back a little bit away from the edge and look at the yellow tones in this area. And I'm going, I'm following the form, looking at where I see those yellow areas. There's some here, there's some here. There's a little bit over here on this side of the peach. So where is this side going to be? The reflected light is on this side. Coming all the way up the edge, sort of feathering out into the peach. And there's more in the back. All right. Now I'm going to bring up my next value, my orange. There's quite a lot of orange in this area. Too fast. 
So if I look at the peach, I see a lot of orange in this area. So I want to pay attention to where my yellow was. I'm not going to go over that area. I don't really want to start by drawing an edge. Sometimes it helps to kind of draw an edge with our fingers. And I'm looking at the orange. The orange goes all the way into the shadow area. Okay, remember our darker values we're going to build last. So now we're trying to create the form and the texture. In this section, there are some little kind of almost pits or spots. So we're looking, looking, looking. We can't draw it if we don't look. There's quite a bit more orange up here at the top of the peach. There's more orange, reddish orange up here at the top where we started with our red. If I get too much orange or too much yellow, I can always come back to my base color. What was my base color? My base color was the red. So I can reintroduce another layer or another partial layer. Now let's work down here on this bottom area. Where do I see more orange in that area as well? We noticed that the edge was a little bit lighter with highlight. Along the edge there's the highlight, so I want to be careful that I don't get too zealous with my shading. Do too much, go too hard, and I want to not run over the peach slice. I'm always thinking about how the color and the value are wrapping around the form of the peach. This area in here is still a little bit too light, so we'll need to come back in. I want to, want to maintain some of that yellow. And some of this peach orangey color comes across the top. Okay, and this is a little more orangey in here. All right, now let's take, um, I think I need to come back to my base color. I have a little more red in here. So let's add a little more red. A little more red right here along the peach. A little more red right here along the slice. All right. Now, the peach is pretty red, pretty orange, and pretty yellow. How can I get those darks? Well, if I think about the color wheel, I have my opposite of red is green. And another cool color that is almost opposite is blue. Okay, so um, I might try a little green first. So in this area where there's um, kind of a rusty red peach color, I'm not trying to make the peach green, but I'm trying to change the red a little bit. Okay, by adding the complementary color. And up here on this uh, left side, where the shoulder is, I'm going to add a little bit more. And it's pretty dark up here at the top close to the leaves, so I think green's not quite the right color. I think I'm going to change this area where it's pretty dark to blue. 
Okay, remember red and blue make purple, so the shadow's kind of purplish. And it comes all the way up to the shoulder. How do I make the dark stand out? By having light next to it. How do I get the lights to stand out? By having darks next to it. So using those warm and cool color combinations are going to be very important in creating the form of the apple. I also want to look at the edge of the shadow. So this edge is pretty soft. This front edge is a little bit harder. Now, I want to create that hard edge by ending the color, not by drawing a line. So if you look at how I'm applying the color to my drawing, I'm going past my pencil lines. If your pencil lines are really strong, you might want to uh, lighten those a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to come in with brown. Brown is in the warm colors, but there is a little red in there. So now I'm going to come back in, trying to build the richness of the shadow. It's softer at the bottom, and in fact, it kind of fades out into the apple. So I'm going to go beyond my original pencil lines. And it needs to curve with the apple, the form. Okay, before I work on this anymore, let's bring some of the other, those same colors are in this uh, opposite side. I see a little bit of yellow here, right here at the edge. And what I'm, the most important thing when working with color and building the layers of color pencil is to use light pressure and to build the color slowly. Okay, to build the color slowly. It's not, not like driving a race car. It's a little dark comes up a little more. Okay, and now I'm kind of losing my red, so I'm gonna come back to my base color. and work in some more of that base color. I have to decide, is it more red behind the shoulder of the peach or in front of the peach? How is, how is that going around the peach? Where is it light? Where is it darker? How is it going down into that well, I'm going to come back to my orange. Need a little more orange there. And a little more yellow at the top where there's the highlight. And this isn't working so great. The highlight, I want the yellow to come forward, so I'm going to put a little more orange on the back, lightly. And then I'll come in with my white. and Bring the white on the shoulder. If the pencils are really sharp, they might kind of scratch the paper. So remember, just like with our other um, shading drawings, we can use the side of our pencil. And down here at the bottom of the peach, it's still too flat. We need to bring in some shadow color. So I want to look at where the shadow is here along this edge. Here is a highlight, a reflected light. So I'm going to keep that. But right here next to the peach slice, I'm going to bring in a little color there. And a little 
color here. And so I'm building, building, building. Now what I want to do is look at the top. There's just a teeny bit of kind of grayish shadow. So I'm going to use just a little bit of this blue to put a little shadow behind that. That might be a little too much, so I'm going to come back and tone it down with my white. All right. Most of it's working pretty well. This area right here is not really working, so I need to work on that a little bit more. So let's see if we what we can do there. When I hold up my drawing, I should start to see the peach form. If it's looking, this is looking a little flat, so it's not um, finished enough. So how are the lines, how are the values, how are the colors going around the peach form? How is that curving? I think I need a little more yellow. There's yellow over here and there is more yellow here and I'm kind of losing that. So I'll bring that back in off the edge. How is that traveling into the peach itself? It's right here on the edge. And then here at the top. And this is pretty light. If I can't get it light enough, I can always come in and pick some up with an eraser, but it's better if I can do it without. Now the interesting thing about opposite or complementary colors, yellow and orange and red are warm colors, green and blue are cool colors, is that I can tone this down a little bit. I'm not really making it green, but I can tone it down and get the volume of the form by adding just a little bit with the green. If it's too green, I might come in with the brown or with the blue. So I, I start with the picture, I start with my drawing, I build it up gradually, but it's going to take time to build it up. It doesn't happen quickly. So that's enough to get you started. I want you, before next time, to use your colors and the color peach picture image that you have and I want you to develop just the color on the peach itself. Don't get in a hurry, it's going to take time. Next time we will do the slice and the leaves.